Thank you so much for taking the time to hear the powerful word of truth from Prophet Bishop H. Walker. By way of special announcements, join Prophet Walker at True Life Pentecost Church every second Sunday of each month in Atlanta, Georgia at 957 Metropolitan Parkway at 4.30 p.m. Also join in with True Life every fourth Sunday of each month in Charlotte, North Carolina at 300 North Tryon Street located at the Public Library of Charlotte. For further details, go to www.truelightpentecost.org and click on announcements for any current events. Thank you so much for supporting Prophet Walker and the True Light Ministry. Be encouraged and be blessed. You are now viewing Prophet H. Walker and True Light Pentecost Church. Those that are viewing and seeking after righteousness, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. I want to get on that Episcopal church too. Amen. Don't never think because you're under grace, you can still continue a life of sin. All right. Don't think that because you heard that uh, under dispensation of grace, you can still be a sister. All right. You can still be a lesbian because you're under grace. Don't let no preacher. Why should I feel discouraged? And why should the shadows come? Tell me why. Jesus. 
Sunday or Monday, and his funeral is uh, Tuesday coming uh, in Detroit, uh, at the church on Seven Mile Road. <clears throat> now, when he left, uh, those who were following him, I think he, uh, he was the last one, and myself, now I'm about the last one, now the teacher's the bell covered. Now, they tell me toward the end, he was kind of getting away from the bell covered. Yes, I, I don't know, but... Yeah, y'all view by we have YouTube, you can easily tell. Mm -hmm. But in here, you still gonna hold to the Bible. Right. Let's go back to the book of Jude, uh, verse three. Uh, again, the Holy Scripture is the only guidance that humanity have in attaining the ultimate goal, which is eternal life in heavenly places forever. Yes. And this is what we're striving for. And once again, I want to make mention, let's not let little strife and envy and little situations that come up, especially with the children, Amen. create and uh, uh, make you unhappy. Yes. Yes. Nobody let my child. Mm -hmm. Listen, we all one family. All of us to the sea of the north. Amen. And you know, there was a great flood. Yeah. All humanity was destroyed. Amen. And from Noah and his sons mm -hmm. came the human race. Yeah. Amen. So, uh, we won. Amen. So let's, let's put aside any type of weight of envy or strife. Uh, yes. And, and understand that we are not a rich church. Amen. We don't have the vehicles that we would like to have. Amen. As yet. So we're doing the best we can with right, what we have. Amen. Leader must be wise in spending the limited amount of funds that we have. Amen. <laughs> I can't just jump, jump out and buy two or three bands because we need two or three bands. Amen. Not at this time. Amen. So let's learn how to help one another, chip in for the church, because nothing again matters but God and His kingdom. Amen. Uh, in the book of from verse 3. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that you should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. Now again, the faith once delivered. Let's connect this with Romans 16 chapter uh, verse 25 and 26 again. Now again, the faith once delivered. And I also want to give honor to our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The one God Amen. Amen. The Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 In John's Gospel, chapter 1, verse 10, he was in the world, and the world was made by him. So once again, since he only had one creator, according to Malachi 2 and 10, and the creator of the Old Testament, a Jehovah God, is the same, a Jesus, of the New Testament, according to the Scripture. Amen. Once again, we only have one creator. Malachi 2 and 10, have we not all one Father, have not one God, created us oh. all. So again, I thank God that I am Jesus only. Amen. And I worship and serve no God but Jesus. And that is the true church that was established on the day of Pentecost. And we're going to prove that again tonight. Now, uh, I said connect this with Romans chapter 16, verse 24. Now remember, Jews said it was needful for me to write unto you. Now, understand the, the essence of that epistle. 
he used the word it was needful. Mm -hmm. So there must have been some importance in the church of that dispensation of time for him to sit down and write and use the statement that he made, it's needful for me to write Amen. to you. Amen. That you contend for the faith. He didn't say contend that you that you contend for the faith. He said that you earnestly yeah. contend for the faith. Yeah. Yeah. So he's giving an inference on staying in the church. Is that right? Amen. So, brothers and we have to understand in this evil, hateful time Amen. where preachers are, are, are compromising the word as quick as they can till it makes you wonder, is there anybody left that's saved? That's right. Yes, God got a remnant church. Oh, amen. I told you before, remnant means what's left. Yeah. What's left after all the turmoil, all of the shaking, all of the attacks, ain't going to be but one remnant people left that's going to represent God's eternal kingdom on this earth in journey. And we are that church. And again, I'm saying this, we're going to prove it by scripture. Those men by way of YouTube, I know you want to criticize me and say, oh, you think you're the only church. Yes, we are the only church. All right, prophet. Amen. All right. Then you got to speak against it. That's right. Yes, How many celebrate this past so-called Easter? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Just yeah. on this past week. Mm -hmm. weekend. So, 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 yes, we are the true church of God. That's right. And we must be that thing. Romans uh, chapter 16, verse 25. Now to him that is of power to establish you according to my gospel. To God alone. Uh -huh. And the preaching of Jesus Christ according yes. to the revelation of the mystery. which was kept Now the revelation me. comes to the prophets and the apostles to give to the people so that they can understand the will of God. Yeah. Revelation comes from the word to reveal yeah. Yeah. or expose something. Yeah. What is that? The truth of God's word according to the gospel. Yeah. Are you reading? Which was kept secret since the world began. Kept secret since the beginning of time. Now it's talking about worldly people. And y'all might have sanctified by church set apart. Uh-huh, read. But now it's made manifest. And by now is revealed to his sanctified church. Amen. Read. And by the scriptures of the prophets, according to the commandment of All right. the everlasting By the scriptures of the prophets. Of the, prophets or the writings of the prophets. Amen. All right. According to this book. According to the commandment of the everlasting God. Now, the apostles wrote this book by commandment from God himself. Uh-huh. For what? Made known to all nations for the obedience of faith. It may, it's made known to all nations, but all nations, they won't be saved. Mm -hmm. Amen. I told you it's to everybody, but not for everybody. Yeah, hallelujah. If you don't have faith. You can read the Bible all you want, mm -hmm. but you're not going to obey the Bible. <coughs> and you can go to church every single Sunday, sing in the, in the Mount Moriah Baptist Church Choir, Amen. and you're still going to hell. Right. <laughs> the command, by the commandment of the everlasting God, you have to do what God tells you to do, and you've got to do it with joy and gladness. When we come to church, again, we come to church to have church. You don't carry it because it made you feel like that. Amen. You don't praise God because you don't feel like a, you feel somebody might have mistreated you or your children. Amen. Amen. All right, Father. Amen. 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 But if you can't say it. Amen. So if you say what you worry about. Amen. One thing is certain. God going to protect the little children. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. Amen. And everything can't go smooth all the time. Amen. So learn how to get yourself rooted and grounded in the faith and don't let these little things come up and try to make big things out of them. Right, 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 right. That was good at that. Yeah. So I told you time about the sister. Uh, uh -huh. She uh, holding the door for the sister and she got kind of tired because it's in the church service. People was coming up. And she just happened to let the church go and go to her car. And it happened that she let the door go uh, to her sister. And the sister said, mm -hmm. she, I knew she didn't like me in the first place. <laughs> but what she going to do is stand there and hold the door for, for the congregation to pass out. <laughs> she looked for a little gap. And when she see a little right. leeway, she said, oh, OK. Amen. And go. Not thinking nothing about it. And they never spoke for 10 years mm -hmm. because of a little incident like that. Wow. Don't let something small cause you to carry a bird or a grudge <laughs> against somebody. And praise Lord, and then both of you, don't have enough humility and heart to go to the others here. You know, there is something I've done wrong. Mm -hmm. And finally, the sister said, well, yeah, you let them slam the door on my face. She said, well, I sure didn't mean to do it. And I didn't even know I did it. Mm -hmm. And then they finally 
work that thing out. But 10 years, mm. going through that. Church, the devil's on his case. Oh, and he's wow. doing a good job. Right, right. But Jesus is on the case too. Yeah. Let him do a good job in your life. Now again, uh, the Bible gives us the instruction we need and it's impossible to be saved in violation of the Bible. Now I've taught many, many times about a willful act of sin. Whenever you commit a willful act of sin, your soul is in jeopardy unless you get intercessory prayer from the spiritual leader. It must be a righteous man. Amen. You sit among you, call for devils of the church, they shall anoint with all, and the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and if they have committed sins, it shall be forgiven them, for the effectual perfect prayer of a righteous man Amen. availeth much. The effectual, fervent prayer of a man. No. It said a righteous man. Amen. Amen. That's why I said you got to know the leader that stands before you and teaches you the oracles of God. And then you have to purpose in your house to have enough discipline and humility. Because you can't have this one without having humility. Amen. To follow the word of God when it comes to you. Amen. We're all trying to make it to heaven. Amen. calamities that's going to come against this unto all generation. Amen. They're trying to fire everybody on their job. Mm -hmm. Everybody in this room, if they get a chance, they're going to fire you. Mm -hmm. Because they can replace it with someone else, and once they keep that turnover, then they can get more people stealing to survive. Amen. Doing things wrong to survive, so they can put more people in prison. Amen. Someone told me today, uh, they shot a young man and shot in uh, Charleston. Amen. Charleston. Shot, uh, followed him, shot him eight times. Mm -hmm. Thank God they charged him with murder. Amen. Yeah. But how many, how many did you get there? Who knows? He might even get out of that. Because he got a badge and a blue uniform. Mm -hmm. And when I won that case uh, in the traffic court, and I said, You look at him, he got his shoes shine, a badge, and a gun on his side, and everything. You yeah. think he, he or well, he's a police, that makes him wrong. No small number. Amen. God. And I went to that case in Rodney King, where they, California, uh -huh. except here, and beat a man half to death. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if it hadn't been for a man, for, thank God, for wanting a cigarette, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and going to the window, and having to look out and see what was going on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Four police believing it, beating this man, got already handcuffed by yeah. yeah. And he went and got his camera. Of course. And he's a supervisor, yep. ship supervisor. Yep. He watched four police underneath his jurisdiction beat a man half to death. Yep. And they exonerated the police officer, but after they exonerated, this man came up with that camera. And I think he sold it to a CBS or somebody for a lot of money. And then they run it, and it went all around the world. Sure then the federal government had to step in and charge him with a, a civil rights violation. Amen. That, 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 they do that when, when the local government finds someone wrong in government not guilty, then they can charge them with a federal crime right. by uh, uh, going against by, uh, the civil rights of another person. Yeah. Anyhow, uh, I think two of them went to prison. One they let go, and other, yeah. I think he died of a heart attack or something. Mm -hmm. But I'm trying to show you, had that man not wanted to go to the window and smoke that palm off, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> man, then he got away, Scott. Mm -hmm. Hear him saying, this happens every day. So yeah, every day. Man. Yeah. We are covered by the blood. Thank you, Lord. And the only way we can be covered by the blood, we got to stay in the word. That's right. So you Amen. That you are earnestly content for the faith once delivered. Not this new thing. Praise God. We were talking the other day about the veil coming. If we had the church packed how many times over? If it wasn't for that veil coming. My goodness, my goodness. They don't want to wear it. And it's it is very plain because as soon as they leave the church, first thing they do is snatch that thing. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. What about obedience to the word of God? If God wrote it and put it in a book forever, how are you going to challenge the word of God? Amen. If God said not to commit a willful sin, how are you
you gonna commit a will sin? And then come to church and say, well, Lord, forgive me. It don't go there. It's not that easy. No, no, let somebody. I'm saying to you in the Baptist church and Methodist church. I want to get on that Episcopal church too. Amen. <laughs> don't never think because you're under grace, you can still continue a life of sin. Amen. All right. Amen. Don't think that because you're under dispensation of grace, you can still be a sissy. All right. You can still be a lesbian because you're under grace. Don't let no preacher trick you into believing that because he's tricking you into the lake of fire forever. Right, man. God forbid. That's right. Amen. How shall we get dead to sin, go back and live any longer therein? That's right. So let's understand grace clearly. Grace saved you when you could not save yourself because you were born into sin. But once you have been baptized and taken upon the name of Jesus and filled with his spirit, now you have an obligation to follow the word of God. And that's what the Bible is for. Amen. To teach you how to live right. And when I said we're the only church, and the Episcopal Church is one of the first churches to ever turn its back on God and allow this sodomy and let it yes. be to come into an organized Christianity. Yes. 19, early, 1980s, when they tried to excommunicate an Episcopal okay. Church for being a known homosexual. You know, they, they, they allowed them to be homosexual as long as they didn't speak it out. Amen. Did y'all know that? Amen. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they, they, they would uh, look the other way. But he was going along with this lesbian coalition. We got to push this thing and push this thing. And, and we'll, we got to reprogram America. Reprogram America against God. That's what they're doing. <laughs> So they excommunicated this uh, uh, Episcopal priest, and he went all around the country and gathered support. One thing about them sodomites and lesbians, they're aggressive mm -hmm. in their attitude yes, to change things. Amen. I mean, man, they, they're, they're bold. Amen. And, 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 and here comes family people. They sat back like little, I want to be sissies themselves. <laughs> oh, well, God made them too. Yeah, God made them, but he didn't make them to be sisters and sodom, right? Amen. Why would they get away from male and female? All right, prophet, amen. amen. If, if, if you make something in between, well, what do you make male and female? And join them together and told them to go and multiply. Yeah. Husband and wife, made he them. Amen. Male and female. So, so God ain't made no mistake, but whenever you have situations where there is a character involved. You need instruction. And since God has got a church, he wants that church to have the character and the mind of himself. That this mind being you is also in Christ Jesus. So in order to do this, then he's got to teach you. But when pastors and preachers are afraid to teach the word, All right. how the people going to know the word. Amen. So they kept messing around in this Episcopal church, and finally, what was it, a few years ago, they, the ecclesiastical board voted, we're going to accept sodomites and lesbians into the church, and we're going to uh, yeah. agree to same-sex marriage. Huh. How are you going to agree to something God's already condemned. Yeah, yeah. How are you going to go out and make it right what God has already said is wrong? That's right. Amen. And call yourself a church. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's mind-boggling. The, the boldness that they have, I still can't figure out. And they got millions of followers. Mm -hmm. and, and, and here I'm teaching the truth. I got a handful. Figure it out. Yeah. You can't figure it out. They got millionaires going to that church. And sitting on them, them, them digging board and trusty board. Mm -hmm. Well, well, yeah, they're human too. Because you're human, that's why God sent the word. To straighten you out from your humanism and put some spiritualism and righteousness Amen. in you. Amen. Amen. All right. Let me first Timothy, uh, chapter 2, verse 1. Now therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Now we've read that many times. Yeah. You can't be weak in the church. Mm -hmm. You must be strong. Yeah. Read. And think the 
thou hast heard of me among many witnesses. The things you have heard of me, the apostle Paul speaking in the first tense. He's trying to say, I'll set an example for you. And, I, and the things you have learned, the things I have taught you, as I'm your example, set up. Uh -huh. The same commit thou to faithful men. Commit what I've taught you to what kind of men? Faithful. You can't teach someone who is not faithful to the word. Amen. And that's why I said you can fellowship with people who do not want to accept the truth of God's word. You Amen. cannot do it. I know it's in I understand that. But it will cause a corruption within the church, not sometimes, not most of the time, but every time. That's why God Then you say, unless you come out and be shepherd, I will not receive you. But he says, if you come out and be shepherd, then. Amen. Then I'll receive you. Then I'll be a father. But you've got to come out and be shepherd. Amen. Yes, it sounds hard. But he's trying to defend a church. Amen. He's trying to mold and shape a church that represents his glory. Amen. And he came down and solidified and settled it by Calvary. Amen. And you think that he's going to let people just compromise and compromise. Oh, well, uh, uh, they, I know they're weak and I, I know I know they love me, but they still going to do that and do that, but they still love me. No, if you love me, keep my So the instructions come, and here Paul is, you know, Paul, I tell you, that man's a great, great teacher. Amen. Amen. And, and a great example setter. Yeah. That's why he took the thought and said, follow me That's right. as I follow Christ. Lord, I... Hallelujah. And you try to follow God yourself, Amen. but you can't. You got to follow somebody who's having the living example right, for you. Right. That's why I say, follow your leader. Watch him. Study his character. And think they make your decision. Don't just follow no any and everything. Amen. Preachers running around with Bentleys and Mercedes with your money. Right. Are you foolish? Right. And you ain't got no Bentley, you ain't got no Mercedes. Right. Why should you buy him one? Amen. All right, prophet. Amen. All right. What is wrong, right. brother? Right. 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 At least I'm trying to take a little bit for yourself. Amen. When somebody comes and speaks clearly and truth to you, all of a sudden he's a cult. Amen. Well, you better run as fast as you can to this call. All right. Glory. <laughs> Amen. Pick up in verse 3. Now, therefore, endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. You've got to fight a warfare. There's no sense. Now, he, call, he, he mentioned the word soldier because he knows you're in a battle. And that's why I said, I want you to come in to strong men. Who got the faith? Who will keep the faith? Not the weaklings who will compromise every chance they get. Amen. That ecclesiastical church was the first church after they reinstated that hypocrite priest. First church to ordain same-sex marriage. Amen. And then it was followed, if I'm not mistaken, by their counterpart, spit-off group in, in the same uh, religious family, the Lutherans. Amen. Amen. That's right. Followed by them. That's right. They voted. Well, we voted to have same sex marriage. Then the Methodists and the Baptists. Uh, uh, what is Jimmy Carter? What are you supposed to be? A Baptist or something? Southern Baptist. Southern Baptist. He's a teacher. He said, Well, God loves the, the homosexuals. And uh, he agreed with same sex marriage. There is a lie. You're a hypocrite. That's right, Lord. You're a genuine first sex hypocrite and a coward. Amen. Now that's double. You're a hypocrite and a coward. You're a coward because you won't preach the word, and you're a hypocrite because you preach a lie. All right. Amen. Now how are you going in where we are? Amen. Oh, these, these denominations. That's why God said that you speak the same thing that there be no divisions amongst you. That you be perfectly joined. Perfectly joined means completely joined by the word. Jews said again, needful for me to run unto you. I've got to write this epistle. Why? Because you're going astray. You, you, you're following this, you're following that leader, following that leader. And I said before, God ain't never had but one leader. That's why Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. Amen. Amen. So I'm saying, brothers and sisters, we've got to understand 
how divisions come in and split a church. But when you're in the truth of God's church, you got to follow. You got to follow the truth. And you can't have nothing come by to cause you to weaken or make statements or a belief in something that you know is wrong. Amen. Give me Hebrews 10, 26. Amen. Pull your boots off. We want in deep water. Yeah. Amen. And can't say amen, just say ouch. Amen. amen. Uh, Hebrews 10 and 26. For if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth. After I have taught you the truth. There remaineth no and more. And you continue to sin. There, what? There remaineth no more sacrifice for sins. Now, now uh, uh, connect this with, uh, is that 1 John 5 and 16? Amen. Watch this connection here. Now, Paul wrote Hebrews and John wrote it in, in this epistle. If, but watch it, watch, watch it, the unity of the two apostles. Uh -huh. If any man see his brother sin a sin which is not unto death, a sin which is not unto death, he shall ask and he shall give him life for them that sin is Pray for him and God will honor the prayer. Uh -huh. There is a sin unto death. There is a sin unto death. Now, in the cross reference of the Hebrew Greek study Bible, it connects 1 John. Chapter 5, Hebrews 10, 26. Yeah. A willful sin or a sin that uh, God said, it, it ain't no sense in you asking to pray, but you, you can make a request. In other words, I, I ain't gonna get mad because you pray for me, but I ain't gonna pay no attention to you. Yeah. Read it, read it again. If any man see his brother sin a sin which is not unto death, he shall ask and he shall give him life for them that sin not unto death. Uh -huh. There is a sin unto death. I do not say that he shall pray for it. Now, 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 now that's plain. So he did, he makes a, a, a discernment between two types of sin, and I brought this up many, many times. He, we sin every day, but it, we don't commit no willful sin every day. Amen. Amen. So learn how what God is doing. He's shaping through the Bible a church that must be complete when the trump of God sounds the end. Now you know He made a teaching. Uh, I think it's back over in John's Gospel that if he, or either in Matthew, if he didn't shorten the time, Amen. there would be no flesh worth saving. All right. Amen. But for the elect's sake, he's going to shorten the time. Amen. So when there's a time set for uh, uh, him to uh, uh, tell the angel to blow that trumpet, he got to move that thing up so. <laughs> Otherwise, he don't have nobody. Amen. He said so. If I don't show the time, nobody can follow this, follow this teaching. But thank God, he got some that's going to follow. But he's still going to show it for them. Maybe they might stand a long life journey. So I'll shorten the time. Prayerless times are here, brothers and sisters. And this is why I say, when God has blessed us, and he has blessed us. A good church that accomplished what we have, and we got a place to stay. We got a place for our children to stay. You can go to work, and your children, they got, they ain't no motive. That's just going to be messing with your children. You can go to, you can go to work and rest. Oh, maybe somebody forgot to open up their juice or, <laughs> praise the Lord, maybe they didn't open up their cracker. Something on time. Oh, please. <laughs> There's a whole lot of worse things. Amen. All right, Prophet. Amen. All right. Hallelujah. You don't know what happened with them private babysitters. Uh -huh. Amen. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Be thankful for what you have. Amen. Amen. Let's right. be thankful that we have the truth. But don't be ashamed of who you are and don't be ashamed because you're in the truth. And never again be ashamed because somebody leaves and uh, they rail against the church and make you think, oh, they ain't talking about us. Oh, they ain't talking about Jesus. Amen. And Jesus told him, now you want to kill me because I told you the truth. Yeah. And he did kill him. 
because he told the truth. Mm -hmm. And they're going to do the same thing to us. Maybe not in the physical, but brothers and sisters, they're going to talk about you. And if you keep reading that Facebook, mm -hmm. you'll get so upset, you'll go through the whole day. I'll say, look what he said about me. Look <laughs> what he said about my church. Oh, look what he said about my neighbor. Mm -hmm. Maybe I ought not to go to that church no more. That, that's going to solve your problem. Yes. <laughs> I'm trying to put some backbone in you. Yeah. Stand up. Lord. Hey, the devil come against you. Stand up. Look at me now. Yeah, I'm not good. 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 I'm not his father, his father was a preacher in holiness. And uh, you start fighting with him. He said, all right now, you hit me again, see if I won't go and tell Jesus on you. Amen. <laughs> and some of them kids here, back away. Amen. Because they knew. Back in those days, there was a fear of God. And yeah. even sometimes you never went to church. They had a fear Amen. of God. Mm -hmm. And they had a reverence for the church. Amen. But today, they don't care nothing about the church. Nope. You can't have about no leader. Praise God. But brothers and sisters, we better make our calling and our election sure because this thing is winding down close to the end. I've seen too much blasphemy. I've seen too much of the spirit of unbelief. There's too much confusion. And God, I'm telling you, he's sick and tired of what is going on. Let's get right in the church. Somebody wants to be saved. Mm -hmm. But if they don't know, if nobody set an example for them, how in the world are they going to come in out of darkness? <coughs> Thank God because we, uh, someone, wrote, wrote, how come uh, they all wear white, white robes? I said because we try to be as one. You just want to No, that's all they don't do to heaven. But it can help you. It can help you on the way. Amen. One got an orange dress, polka dot dress, top of <laughs> dress. This hat, that hat, two feathers, three feathers. I should have the other night. Amen. Why not be uniformed with one accord? What's wrong with that? They don't like it. Hateful and evil and wicked lifestyle. And, 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 and the thing they cover. Man, they go uh, uh, save for uh, a year to buy a dress for Easter. <laughs> Put it in layaway. Yeah. You know you can't afford it no way. <laughs> yeah, my dress cost two hundred dollars. Her, she got her, her to Kmart. Mm -hmm. I didn't come to Kmart. So what? Amen. I guess you can't tell the difference. Right. Amen. Hold on, see if you can tell the difference. You, right. you can't tell the difference between a meat coat and a rabbit coat. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you know how y'all know that? Yeah. Rabbit coat is some of these terrors that take some rabbit fur and put it together. Uh, oh, I got me a mink on. Sure look nice. <laughs> <laughs> Vanity is one of the first steps to lack of faith. Amen. Pride was one of the original sins. The Bible says Satan was kicked out of heaven because of pride. Amen. Amen. He wanted to be like God. Yep. And God had given him pushed of heaven. Did y'all know that? Mm -hmm. He was a, one of the top cherubims. Amen. Cherubim was another term for angel. He was one of the top. But he wanted more. He wanted to be like God and challenged him. And do you know a third of the heavenly host followed him? Yep, so sure did. Yep. Amen. He was able to convince a third of the heavenly host to follow him and, and rebel against God. Mm -hmm. And Michael keep all of them out. He sure did. <laughs> And then he said, Woe be to them that are on the earth, for Satan has fallen like a boat like on yep. the earth, yep. and he's angry. Mm -hmm. God knew where he was going when he cast him out. <laughs> because he wanted to Satan to try to tempt the church of God. Mm -hmm. And he'd been trying every sin, but he kept tempting. The church of the church. That's why you said it was needful for me to write unto you that you honestly contend for the faith once you live. 
to the saints. Is that what he said? But now certain men have crept in on the way. Wasn't watching when Crypto Dollar came in. All right. Wasn't watching when TDJ showed up. Wasn't watching when George Thomas came in. Then they put in all this mess. <laughs> Prosperity and all this. Two men holding hands. Oh, glory, hallelujah. You make God a liar. Amen. And you're foolish to make God a liar. That's right. He made male and female, and that's all he made. That's all he made. Folks don't have no problem. Cats don't have no problem. Dogs don't have no problem. Butterflies don't have no problem. How come man got a problem? Amen. All right. Amen to that. Oh, oh, we got the man by you. You're a liar. Amen. You're a sick, demented person. And what you need to do is get saved. Amen. Amen. All right, Father. Amen. I'm talking about some order. Who can pray yeah. and talk to God. Yeah. Amen. But when you got all that pride in you and in all this movement, forcing you, you know what they're doing? They're proselyting people. They're yeah. forcing people and, and making them ashamed because they are what they call straight. Yeah. Ten years from now, this movement keep on, you'd be ashamed to say you normal. Yeah. Be ashamed. So what do they do? They get married. You have your babies? No, we are not babies. Mm -hmm. Oh, why can't you have no babies? Well, you want to start arguing? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Thank you so much for taking the time to hear the powerful word of truth from Prophet Bishop H. Walker. By way of special announcements, join Prophet Walker in True Life Pentecost Church every second Sunday of each month in Atlanta, Georgia at 957 Metropolitan Parkway at 4.30 p.m. Also join in with True Life every fourth Sunday of each month in Charlotte, North Carolina at 300 North Tryon Street located at the Public Library of Charlotte. For further details, go to www.truelightpentecost.org and click on announcements for any current events. Thank you so much for supporting Prophet Walker in the True Light Ministry. Be encouraged and be blessed. Love Talk Radio.